Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the features in Publisher's Mailings tab in the ribbon to perform automated mailings. When you use the Mail Merge feature in Publisher, you merge information from a table called the Data Source into designated fields in your publication. For each record or row in the table, you will typically produce one copy of the publication. For example, if you had a table that contained the names and addresses of your customers, you could create a publication, like an envelope for example, that would display the name and address of each customer on its face. In this example, you would create a single envelope publication and place a field for the name and another field for the address on the face of the envelope. You would then merge the table data into the publication, which would produce one envelope for each record in the table. Now, Obviously, this can save a lot of time and money in creating mass mailings for situations such as these. Also, while the example uses an envelope as a publication, you can also use Publisher to create letters, emails, labels, and catalogs using the Mail Merge feature. In addition to that, Publisher can also use several types of data sources. For example, you could use an Excel spreadsheet or an Access database table as your data source for a merged publication, making this feature very useful when combined with other Microsoft Office applications. To perform a mail merge, you must first create a mail merge publication. Then you choose a data source for the publication. In the mail merge publication, you enter the static or unchanging information. For example, if you wrote your return address in the upper left corner of the mail merge envelope, that wouldn't change for each publication. That's an example of static information. So in our example here, we'll open up view and zoom in here and we'll see our return address. We have our static information there that won't change once we do our mail merge. Then you insert your merge fields into the publication and the merge fields represent the location in the publication where you want the information from the data source to appear. Using the envelope example you would insert fields for the customer's name and their mailing address. Finally, you merge the information from the data source into your merge publication. This often results in a separate publication being created, the output of the mail merge, if you will. This is often what happens if you still need to make individual changes to each instance created. Often this output publication is discarded when you've finished printing it. However, you always save the data source and the merge publication. Then in the future, you can easily recreate the mail merge using the original merge publication and the associated data source if you wish. Each time you perform a merge, you can choose to send the results of the merge directly to a printer or to a new output publication as desired. Now in the upcoming lessons, we'll examine how to create the mail merges. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.